hello i'm having one of my adventuring days today i'm currently lurking in a shelter in radda train station it is of course raining i'm on my way to saint fagans museum today which is an absolutely brilliant place if you just want to skip to the part of the video where i arrive i'll put a little timestamp there but i'm also going to put chapters in the play bar so you can jump to whichever section you like but anyway, back to now. I'm going by train. Now, this is probably not what most people want to do because it's actually a two mile walk from Wine Grand Station. But I'm going to do it anyway because I like walking and getting my step count up. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully I don't wear myself out before I get there. I've got about a 20 minute wait until my train. So I am quite literally going to chill out in the shelter because it is freezing. I think it's going to rain. I have an umbrella. Now I can cope with rain and I can cope with wind, but not at the same time because it blows the umbrella inside out. So wish me luck with that. I'm on the train. It's a little bit early actually. This is the two minutes past 12 and it should take eight minutes. And then I've got my two mile walk ahead of me. It's nice and quiet on here, isn't it? I think I'm the only one on. No sooner have I got off the train then, it started to empty it down, but this is interesting. I've just remembered this used to be a rubbish tip. The council, look, hang on, let's just put you through the bars. Look, you can see all those bays there. They're looking a bit dilapidated now, but I can remember coming here and bringing car loads of stuff for disposal. Anyway, my big long two mile walk is about to begin. Oh, by the look of those leaves blowing along the road. Looks like it's gonna be windy and rainy. There is a bus stop there. Ah, oh, now, you can get a bus. I actually want to walk, believe it or not, but I want to also know what the bus route is for if I want to come and not walk. Well, there would be a bus from here, but look, this is where we are. It's just all whited out, so it's totally the wrong time of day. Let's battle the elements. I think, has it stopped raining? No, uh, it's still spitting. Look at that old sign there, hand painted, I suppose. I wonder how old it is. I love seeing things like that. Sun's out now. Wish it would make its mind up. Look, we've got a blue sky. I can put my umbrella down then. I'm coming through Fairwater now. There's the number 61 bus. There's a pub called the Fairwater here. There's a meat van in at the moment. Gary Davis Meats. There's a pub. Oh, they've got some fruit and veg. Little cluster of shops here. There's a co-op I see. Fish and chip shop. Hairdressers. Barbers. Also, bakers and a dentist. I just nipped rather opportunistically into the spa and bought myself a meal deal so I can have a bit of a picnic lunch at some point at St. Fagans when I get hungry. Some noisy old birds, aren't they? Beautiful looking houses along here, I think. We're moving away from the houses and shops now. I'm in a slightly awkward bit at the moment with no footpath and I'm not facing the oncoming traffic because I don't know if they'll see me very well. It's not really a bend. I don't know, there's something jutting out. So, yeah, keeping my wits about me. But anyway, the good news is, look, see that sign? St. Fagans, welcome to St. Fagans. And we're just coming up to the museum entrance. Not the main one, but the one where the big castle building thing is. Oh, that's a stunning building. It's gone ever so quiet all of a sudden. I presume that's somebody's home. Oh, beautiful. This is my first time to St. Fagan since the pandemic, so I do hope I haven't got to somehow navigate right round and get into the other gate. Usually there's a buzzer to press and it, the gate opens slowly and it lets you in. Yeah, I think it's open. Phew, I'm approaching the gate. I have had to book a ticket online, so I'm wondering if there's gonna be somebody there that I have to show it to. Oh, there's nobody there. I wonder if I should get my ticket out. Oh, brilliant, thank you so much. The door is unlocked. Is it gonna move? Oh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so I rang the button thingy, the bell, and a little voice answered, and I explained I had a ticket. He asked for my name, and he checked it was on the list, and then they opened the door for me. So, we're here. First time since the pandemic. I was so glad to be back. My first stop's gonna be the loo, I'm afraid. <laughs> Bear with me. It's been a long journey. The ones nearest this entrance is here. Seem to be open. Good. That's better. It's raining again now. 
and a load of cold wind has started up. I'm going to see if I can go in the main building. I have my mask at the ready. I'm in. This is, well, it used to be a holiday home, would you believe, for a very wealthy family indeed. Harp, presuming a piano. And look at that great big gramophone trumpet. You had to go for great lengths to get your music in those days, didn't you? I bet you didn't walk out of the room and just leave it playing after <laughs> going to the effort to get that on. And there's a fireplace, not lit. And some amazing carving above it too. And this tapestry. I think it's a tapestry anyway. Let's have a closer look. What do we think? Oh, we can't go up. Cordoned off, presumably, because of COVID. Here comes the rain again. I'm just walking through these gardens here. Should we have a little look at that fountain? was not cordoned off because of Covid because I asked the man and he said it's cordoned off because there's been some water damage to the building so they've removed all the furniture and put it somewhere safe and they're trying to raise loads of money to get the roof fixed I think it was. I can't resist it I'm going to pop up there and let's go and have a little look at the gardens quickly and the greenhouses that are there. I have vlogged here a few times before when I was a lot less experienced as a vlogger. I'll uh, put a little playlist in the description if you like. Some of the early ones are a bit shaky. I had a very primitive camera then when I first started about five years ago. Ooh, what's through here? It's free to get in here, you know. You have to book at the moment, but it is free. Really good day out. Oh, it's a beautiful spectacle, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So glad I've come. Fair play to me, it was an effort to get here <laughs> on public transport, but totally worth it. You can see a church through there, that's not part of the St Fagans Museum. But look at that gate, amazing. I love the fact that I've come at a really off-peak time, and because the weather's dodgy, <laughs> there's not many people here. Oh, look at that, lovely. Um, I don't know if we can get to the greenhouse, look, uh, this bit seems to be blocked off as well. Oh, it looks a bit dilapidated actually. Let's have a look at this roof, what's going on? Last time I saw this greenhouse it was properly functioning and had grapes growing in it, or at least one of them did anyway. There are a couple. God, look at those! So spiky looking, they're not rough and scratchy though, they looked as if they would be but they are not. They're all really soft and flexible. That one's all tightly scrunched up, isn't it? It's still growing, that one. Well, <laughs> duh, it all is. You know what I mean? Oh, the mulberry trees. Are they not doing so well? I see there are leaves growing on it, so it can't be dead. I'm very pleased about that. Knobbly old thing, isn't it? Must be a very old tree, because I used to sort of climb up it and things when I was a little child, and that's a long time ago because I was born in 75. Oh, what's going on there then? Look, can you see that protruding up through the undergrowth? There is a pointy, what looks like a roundhouse roof, could it be? I think it's thatched. Obviously, well, either under maintenance or construction because of those ladders. Oh. I'm actually feeling quite hungry now. I might look for a nice little spot for a picnic. Contemplating going in there for my lunch, but I think there are probably more scenic places. But if it rains, I'm undercover and I can look out, look and see beauty. Yes, I'm gonna come in here. What is it anyway? It's a summer house from Butte Park in Cardiff. I vlogged in Butte Park as well. I can link those in the description as well if you like. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was built around 1880. Apparently during the 1800s, summer houses were popular features of large gardens and parks. Now, they should be today. I'm gonna sit here and look at this lovely view and have a nosh. This is what we're having. Egg mayo sandwich from the spa and um, rather unhealthily, a Twix. Um, there was also a drink with it, but I'm just drinking my squash that I've brought from home. That was nice, as you can probably tell by the sound of the rain and the umbrella. The rain is back. I think if we go this way, we're going to come to a little weaving mill.
hopefully not too slippy down these steps. I love these big piles of leaves everywhere. It's all very quiet. Oh, hang on, that's not the mill. Oh, that's a boat shed. Let's go and have a look. Ha ha ha. Cunning way to get under some shelter for two seconds. These couple of boats are from the late 1800s. Um, looks like it's got a bit of a holy bottom at the moment. Has that rain stopped yet? Can we see raindrops? Actually, no. Good time to skedaddle on then, up there, so we can see what's going on with the mill. I'm wondering if this one's going to be open now. Do you know, of, today of all days, I've forgotten my gloves and my hands are flipping freezing. Uh, fishing exhibition, I'm not optimistic. Oh, oh what a shame. Hmm, look at all that pond weed down there. I do like looking at greenery in water. I don't know why. Onwards and upwards then. Look at these leaves piled up. Uh, here we have a tree that you don't normally see in the UK. Any guesses? Cork. I know. Random. <laughs> don't know how it got here. Oh, my hands are freezing. Ooh. Anybody at home? Well, there's lights on. Oh yeah, there is a, a not water course, but presumably, I don't know if they had a fake one to show how it would have worked. These things have been moved from their original location, by the way, and rebuilt brick by brick, you know, numbered beautifully. Um, I presume I need my mask for this bit. It says open, ar agor, that's Welsh for open. This is where the looms are. There's another one over there. That was cool. Had a lovely chat to the lady who was attending there. Um, yeah, there's usually an actual weaver in there, weaving, who's very happy to chat away and answer any questions you might have. I'm approaching a barn. I don't think I'm going here, but we can have a look at the outside. You may notice the rain is back, but I don't care. I'm happy. Got my umbrella. It hasn't blown apart yet. Oh, that mill, by the way, was built in the 1700s. They did used to actually power it with water here. That pool that we were looking at by the boat shed was actually the swimming pool for the castle, she said. But what they have done here at the museum was they've pumped water up from that pool into the sort of watercourse mill run uh, into there, which uh, obviously they used electricity to do with the pumping. <laughs> so what have we got here then? Oh, it's quite a spectacle. It's thatched. Look. <laughs> oh, I can get under anyway for a little bit of respite from the rain. Should we poke the lens in and see what's in there? Uh, I think they're actually using it at the moment for storing things. Oh, this weather though. I'm really enjoying my day. I'm going very slowly round everything, as you might have noticed. But I like that. I like to luxuriate in the small details, you know. And I'm not going to rush around and film everything here today, but I might well come back. I'd be really happy to do a series of vlogs here because there's just so much to see. <laughs> uh, I've come so many times over the years as a child and we had a different day every time we came here. It's amazing. Hey, we have some information about this barn. See that red spot on the map of Wales there? That's where it was originally from. In Penley, near Wrexham, it was called Stried Ludden Barn. It was built around about 1550. It was made up of three separate sections. These sections were used to store crops. <clears throat> not planks like today. Uh, between them is a clear space, which I was just vlogging in, used as a threshing floor, where crops were beaten with flails to separate the grain from the straw. It says if you take a close look at the barn's timbers, you'll see marks left by the carpenters who built it 400 years ago. Oh, let's go, see what else we can find. Oh, she's got leaf on her head. Oh, madam, 
There, that's better. The wind seems to have actually dropped at the moment. It's suddenly gone really, really still. It's pretty dark though, isn't it? Ah, heading through the tunnel. This was one of my favourite bits as a kid. I liked the acoustics. Oh, well, we got directions painted on the floor because of COVID, presumably. There's another little covered area there. I wonder if you can sit in there and eat your sandwiches. It's worth knowing, isn't it? You know, in COVID times. Yes, just as I suspected. Benches, nice alfresco social place to be when it is a bit drizzly like today and there are picnic benches just here hey what's going on here look there's one of those high wire course thingies that sprung up they got one of those in morgan park as well haven't they go ape i think they call it well i never i didn't know that was here now that is something my daughter would love to do with a friend i reckon there's a gap in that bit to jump over, look. Woohoo! I mean, they harness you in, you know, you can't actually plunge to your doom or anything. I'll have to find out how much that costs to do that. See if Izzy wants to go. Not with me, though. Oh, that must be the OXO bit, look. <laughs> it's X's and O's. That bit's just like a beam. Oh, the sun has decided to join us. Thank you, sun. Bit late to the party. What's that bit? What are you supposed to do with that? Oh, rather Isabel than me, that's for sure. Yeah, quite a lot of it, as you can see. Some sheep over there. You get a lot of farm animals at St. Fagan, so if you've got children and they like looking at animals, <laughs> there's that for them. Gonna pop into Penhill Chapel now, just as it's starting to rain again. This one's built in 1777, and I'm not gonna hang around, but you can freeze the frame if you want to read that, because it's raining. Oh, mask. Hang on then. <sighs> Tiny little chapel, isn't it? It's not very light in it. I probably don't need to be wearing a mask because I'm the only one in here. These are the pews. Look for the congregation. Do excuse the grainy footage. It's just there is no light really apart from natural light from the windows. There's where the, uh, I'm trying to think, pastor, priest. I didn't make a note of the denomination. Let's have a look. See what it would have looked like to him. Because it would have been a bloke. Oh, he's got a nice yeah, cushion to rest his hand on. While he's doing his sermons. Look, there's an upstairsy bit where more of the congregation can sit. There's the door down there. Whoops. Oh, there's a, a bit. Look, if he's not tall enough, he could stand on it. Unless that's for the children visitors, I don't know. <laughs> hey, this is fun, isn't it? Exploring. I've come at a brilliant time, honestly. Lovely and quiet. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. And these are made of stone. Oh, these look wooden. You're changing the sound, probably. Yes. Um, I think the Henry didn't come with the original building. Last time I vlogged in here, my daughter stood there and did a spontaneous improvised speech <laughs> it's one was on one of our old videos somewhere <laughs> oh i've just remembered what that's for i'm pretty sure that up there was for storing the bodies out of the way of the rats you know while they were waiting for a funeral that does look like an upside down table to me though uh no it isn't though look it's got handles Ooh. right let's go How's that rain looking? Can't make its mind up today. Ooh, it's stopped, yay. Let's see what else we can find then. 